Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if it is your first time here, welcome to Reacting Chill. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another video. So last time on Bleach we had the conclusion of Ichigo and Ikaku's match where um, Ichigo was finally able to outmaneuver and beat Ikaku and in the end he was able to get the information he needed from Ikaku regarding Rukia and her whereabouts so Ikaku was able to um, give that information to him and on top of that he also told him to be wary of his captain the Kampachi, uh, Zaraki uh, because he was on the lookout for the strongest person of the um, Ryoka which was their group so he told him to look out for the captain of his squad um, and we also got the conclusion of Sanju. What's the matter with me? We also got the conclusion of Ganju and the other guy. Again, I can't remember if they mentioned his name. Uh, and I don't know if he's. Uh, well, no, I don't think they die, but he messed up his face with, you know, being able to use his um, technique to be able to outmaneuver him. Um, we also had. Um, everyone was in sort of um not turmoil but it was chaos because um Ichigo went to find um Ganju and obviously yeah, they were running around all over the place and at the same time Chad was making his way over to where everyone was so I think everyone is going to kind of accumulate in one area uh, for the time being and like I mentioned before uh Kampachi's on his way so I think they're all going to kind of come together this is after uh Ganju set off the fireworks that hit the other guy the other soul reaper so they're all kind of following that to see if they all meet so i think there's going to be a bit of a three-way battle potentially um we also met not met but um hanataro he was the caretaker and he was the guy they showed in this new opening which i assume will become an ally of the ichigo team so he was trying to bring food to Rukia he kind of feels sad about what's happened to her but they said no one's allowed near the repent repentant cell um so I'm wondering again like I said if his relationship just goes as far as I was the one looking after you while you're in the cell um and finally towards the end of last time Orihime and Ururu were on the roofs and as they were hiding from everyone and they came they embarked not embarked they ended up encountering um jirobo ikanzaka and the his his sampakto sounds amazing or the spirit of his sampakto which was sunzaki garaso i absolutely enjoy writing down all these names <laughs> so he was about to um he was trying to show off um he was trying to attack them because while they're on the roof Orihime spotted the tower. She wasn't sure what that was, but they were going to make their way over to the tower. And this uh, Jiroba showed up. He was trying to um, obviously kill them, but Uru had leveled up. And Uru was about to show him who was... Like I said, Uru is always, is always on site when it comes to Uru and any Soul Reaper, considering his hatred for them. But that was it. That was pretty much what happened last time. Um, as in, like, a good, fairly good wrap-up. We are now on episodes 29 and 30. Oh, yeah. spell. Even it's she totally said different it. from the one I saw before. Both in its appearance and even its spiritual pressure. He was talking you all this shit. It's what do you make quick work of them? Oh, yeah. I expect you are the one with regrets now. <laughs> As a fellow precious, how dare you uh -oh. insult me, you insolent little brat! I'll kill you! Uh -oh. <laughs> you do realize that I missed you intentionally this time. Warning shot! And also, that I won't miss the next time. Why do you not shoot me and finish it? Can it be that you intend to let me live? Now quit your sniveling and get out of here. Oh, that's how Hurry. it is. Is this a like it would seem fake? That you are a kind-hearted soul. You that is. Oh my god. <laughs> As I suspected. Why were you thinking you would just take her hostage? She's gonna shoot in the no. face. No honorable person, no one with any pride, would ever do such a thing. Not even worth the mental. It shoots two arrows. That was sick. Destroyed his soul chain and Huxley's soul sleep. He's going to live. 
but his spiritual powers are no more. The same thing that um, Byokuya did to Ichigo when they were first fighting. But in battle, they gather the spiritual particles around them and use them to fight. I think that's what Uriya uses the glove for. The overwhelming power it gives him must be the reason he went off to train on his own. Oh, is it? No matter where we go, I'm always the one being chased all over the place. Uh, uh, Ichigo! <laughs> just in time! I can really use some backup right about now! <laughs> Never gonna get there. Do what they say, or else I'll be. Oh. They don't care. We took a hostage. I see. And does he look like one of us to you? <laughs> there are 13 guard squads assigned to protect the Serete. Squad 4 is just a rear echelon service squad that provides first aid for minor injuries. You wanna kill this one? Go right ahead. We don't fight. Looks like we're in for a fight. He was. This won't take five minutes. Ooh. Only two. Oh shit! <laughs> that was sick. Squad Twelve, Captain. I'm sorry, but I must protest. Interrogation. Of ah! Oh my god. I don't know who the Ryoka are, and I have no idea what they're planning to do. And now you shall receive punishment appropriate to your failure. Oh, Kampachi. Interesting. Is he strong? Yes, very strong. He appears to be a soul reaper. He wears a shihak show. I am Hanataro Yamada. Dude, that, that name is so lame. lame. Might as well call yourself Blossom. Hey, come on. Why mm -hmm. should we bother learning the enemy's name anyway? But, uh, Question. but he knows I where Rook really is. Why. Here's another. What's the big this deal? is useless, you guys. Please, you've got to stop fighting over me. We are not <laughs> fighting over you. Hey. What about this map? This would help us avoid running into any more captains out there. What's this here? Jeez. You idiot! You drew this yourself, didn't you? It's better than nothing! Where's your map, smartass? Yeah. It's Ruki Akuchki you're looking oh. for, isn't uh, it? Yeah, exactly. Pay him some attention. I thought so. <sighs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought of using the sewer system. Yes, since it runs underground throughout the Seireite, only a small number of Squad 4 relief and aid workers happen to know the layout of these tunnels. Mm. So besides me, there really aren't very many people who know their way around down here. Makes oh, sense. I can <laughs> Hanataro. Yeah? Why are you doing this for us? Why should our mission be any of your concerns? True. She talked a lot about Ichigo Kurosaki. <sighs> Please save her. You've got to. Please rescue Miss Rukia. Ikaku Madarame and Yumichika Ayasegawa, both of Squad 11, have Yumichika. apparently been withdrawn from the front lines effective immediately. Which would seem to indicate that Squad 11 was almost completely annihilated. Oh my god. What? That's impossible. You know, now that I think about it, it's been a while since our fourth seed has reported back in. He may have been defeated too. Oh Are yes, you the guy on the thing. Isn't the fourth seed in your squad Jirobo? Yeah. The wind side? What an unbelievable mess this is turning into, right, Renji? That much oh. sure. You're not Renji's gone. By spreading... The best place to go is to wait at the tower. To be honest, I was scared of her at first. I mean, she is nobility after all. Yeah. There's no need for you to address me formally. Um, but I... Uh, I'd rather you just call me Rukia. Her voice was so gentle. She was so much kinder than I expected her to be. Aww. And little by little, Rukia started telling me all kinds of things. Can I ask another question, Rukia? What's it really like over there, in the world of the living? They have a drink called juice that comes in paper cartons. 
Oh, <laughs> what kind of a drink is that? What does juice taste like? There was this guy I met who showed me how to do it. But almost all the stories Rukia told me had one thing in common. You too. Go. There was always mention of this one person in particular. You're wrong, Rukia. All of this was my fault. Oh, okay. The coast is clear. You two can come up now. This is the closest opening to the White Tower. Time to move. There's probably someone there. Is it um is it Renji? Yes it is. I don't know how you ever managed to survive that, but it would seem that there is more to you than I first believed. Showdown time, oh my goodness. So this is as far as you go. Shit, 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 here we go. What do you care about that when you've just sentenced her to death? <laughs> I'm gonna cut you to pieces! Just go ahead and try! They've just started. He's going up against Renji. The Ryoka defeated the third seat. I'm feeling strong spiritual pressure all of a sudden. Mm. Mm. Take another look. Something's happening. Is this... Is, are we finally going to see Ichiko Sambakuto come alive? So, tell me the truth, Ichiko. Do you actually believe you're going to be able to rescue Rukia? I do. Above them are 13 full-fledged squad captains. You would have to utterly defeat every single one of us to even have a chance of reaching the tower. I'll defeat anyone who makes the mistake of getting in my way! Just like it's a mistake to get too conceited. Mm. It's gonna transform. Ichigo we're talking about. And I suppose that means that last attack of yours was your best shot. If all I have to worry about is 11 more like that one, then I think I'm gonna be just fine, Renji. Damn! <laughs> His confidence is outstanding. Does we can Ruki see this? She probably senses, yeah. So that was episodes 29 and 30. Those are two good episodes again. Um, we again in between what I did like was in between these episodes we got to learn more stuff and I did see I don't know if I should be watching the end credits um, because there were two other people I remember last time when I watched the end credits we saw Renji and Byakuya so I'm guessing the captain and lieutenant or people of interest from per squad so in this case squad 6 is captain uh, Kuchki Byakuya and Renji I was calling him a barai or a bar, a bar, I don't I forgot how they said it but Renji. So anyway, like I expected, <sighs> new and improved Uru made quick work of Jirobo, which I found out Jirobo was um, the brother of the gatekeeper. Jirobo was the third seat, no sorry, the fourth seat of Squad Seven, and he was easily defeated. But Uru made quick work of him. Um, and we also found out how his glove works. Um, it, he ends up drawing the spiritual particles to create his bow, which is epic as hell anyway. And finally, and I know I was saying that I was kept calling it a soul sleeve, so, so bad. It was the Hakusu, um, I think I said it okay, soul sleep. So when he attacked him, he didn't kill him. He um, destroyed his soul chain and soul sleep, which meant that he no longer... Those are the two main points for spiritual energy or govern spiritual, yeah, spiritual power. So he no longer was going to be a soul reaper when he woke up. And we also found out um, that Hanataro belongs to Squad 4. Squad 4 is like a maintenance and uh, they do all the, like you mentioned, the menial tasks. Also help with um, like first aid and support relief and things like that. So 13 squads and squad 11 considers themselves as the strongest squad with Captain Kenpachi being the captain. And that little, I keep forgetting her name, the little girl with the pink hair, probably isn't a little girl, is the lieutenant of that squad. And the third strongest, the third seat was Ikaku who got defeated. So Kenpachi was incredibly 
um, excited to be able to um, fight with Ichigo. Uh, Mayuri, uh, he was the captain of squad 12. Um, I don't know what he did to his poor lieutenant, the woman that was standing there, and like, I'll put you together again. Goodness me, I, I, he's definitely one to be mindful of. So he wanted to do a question. Ikaku, Ikaku never told him anything about what Ichigo was up to, what he wanted, who he was after. And um, he kept that short and brief. So there's definitely inter... There's trouble even within the barracks. There's some issues going on within the captains or some, there is something going on. Because I remember when um, Captain Mayuri was on his way uh, to the infirmary, he was like, um, you know, don't let Kampachi know yet. I'm going to make my way there. Hopefully I'll get there. Oh, no, sorry. His squad, squad 12, they're like, don't allow, don't let the... Um, squad 11 no i'm on my way there and squad 11 are the first to always be called out they're like because they're considered the strongest the first to be called out um when things like this happen there was still trouble going on as ichigo and uh ganju was trying to were trying to escape all the other soul reapers and they took that moment to kidnap try to kidnap um hanotaro because they thought they were going to use him as leverage for them to get out of the way. But they basically said, we don't care, squad four or worse or whatever. However, luckily, in that moment, uh, while Chad was trying to get to them, he punched a hole through the wall, which completely dispersed half of them. Which And they used that moment to escape. Uh, so while they were escape, um, while they were sort of hidden and trying to strategize, they were trying to... Um, uh, that's when Hanataro overheard who each, what Ichigo was up to and... Considering he was hearing the stories from Rukia, put two and two together and realized this is the guy from the stories. And he said, look, oh, if you trust me, I will lead you to the tower. Um, and that way you can um, help her. And there is nothing sinister or no ulterior motive. I think it's just purely because Hanataro... Um, I've, Again, everyone knows who the Kuchiki family is, and he even said she's nobility. He was a bit worried about meeting Rukia. But after cleaning her cell and getting to know her, I think he, they bonded. He wanted to know what the li world of the living was like. She told him stories. And I think mainly because... And I don't blame him for feelings uh, um, like a friendship or some type of way towards her. Because the way, uh, not only, I mean, I'm assuming he's very aware of who Byakuya is, but considering how Soul Reapers act so stuck up and how they treat Squad 4 and how they look down on them, considering she was of nobility being actually quite nice to him, he probably wanted, like, felt like she shouldn't be, I wouldn't, uh, like, executed. He felt like, he felt bad for her. Um... And he knew from the stories that she told him that Ichigo would be the one to save her. You know, everything that she said. I mean, Rukia feels bad that if it wasn't for her, he would have never got messed up into all of this. So once they made it out of the... So once he took him through the tunnel and they made it out of the tunnel, Renji, they still had a ways to go to get up to the tower to free her. And Renji was waiting for round two and they started duking it out. Uh, Renji basically said, "There's more of me. If you, even if you defeat me here, you're gonna still fight. You're gonna still fight the other lieutenants, and on top of that, all the other captains. So he's got a ways to go before you can get to Rukia for him to be able to save her. Um, we also find out uh, Renji's when the Renji's <laughs> when they go into the uh, um, human world, they have limiters. So he's definitely a lot more powerful." And again, Ichigo, with that confidence, said that if, if this is if your maximum power and this is all I've got to worry about, you know, don't worry, I'll be fine. So they're going to be duking it out, or at least he'll, he'll, he's going to have to severely land a blow to Renji for him to get out the way. Kampachi is still on his way, and Kampachi can't sense spiritual pressure, which is strange. So he, he, even though he can't sense it, he's very aware of what's happening. So he kind of knows, has this... Uh, not a spatial awareness, but it has nothing to do with sensing spiritual pressure. So that was interesting. While this is going around, we still haven't seen none of the other captains. We haven't seen Aizen again. We haven't seen Byakuya again. Um, Orihime and Uryu are still on their way to the tower and they're trying to get there. 
So I don't, I'm assuming they're going to be meeting them at the base of the tower because there's still a ways to go. And I'm wondering, like I said, he's going to have to deal Renji a significant blow unless Kampachi jumps in. And because Kampachi is a captain, Renji might be like, all right, go ahead. So, oh yes, I forgot to mention from that one scene, I don't think like there's, a, there's probably a lot of competition between the squads. Um, I don't know if they like to share information. That's the feeling I got from Mayuri. So they don't like to share information. They don't like to be very cooperative. Uh, so each squad stands alone as their own squad. Um, oh, and we finally found out the name of the other guy with the funky eyelashes. So, um, And I wonder how bad his uh, injuries are. But no, that was it. That was another two good episodes. We're going to see round two of Renji versus Ichigo, and I wonder if Kenpachi is going to be interrupting this match because he's been gunning to find Ichigo, this Ryoka, to fight him. I wonder if we're going to see any of the captains step in. Uh, Rukia is just still chilling in the tower. Um, so I don't know if we're going to find out more about her backstory or anything like that further than that. I wonder if Byakuya is going to make an appearance, considering he's a captain, his lieutenant's currently fighting, so I wonder if he's going to make an appearance to sort of stop the Ryoka. Um, and I'm hoping... Oh, and Chad is on his way, because Chad could sense Ichigo's spirit energy rising, but he could also sense Renji's overbearing spiritual pressure. So he's hopefully going to turn up as well. So Renji didn't realize, even though he said that, how are you going to fight all these people? That Ichiko actually has allies. So there are going to be a lot of them fighting. I just I don't know if it's going to be like one v ones or a group battle, but we'll see. But anyway, that's it for this time. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.